Hey y'all, today we'll be making origami seed planters. For this, you will need a square sheet of paper. If you don't have one, you need a regular sheet of paper and scissors, plus the soil and whatever you would like to plant in your planter. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a square sheet of paper if you don't already have one. Take the bottom right corner and fold it towards the side with the green line. The white line side and the green line side should match up. Be careful not to crease your paper until the sides are perfectly matched up. As you were doing this, pay careful attention to your corner. Make sure it's nice and sharp. You don't want it to be a loop there. Now that we're confident, we can crease our paper. Make sure you hold the paper in place while you are creasing it so it doesn't move. If you do not have scissors, fold the triangle along its side that's been marked with the marker. I like to fold it back and forth several times using my nail to crease the paper so that it's nice and sharp. This will make it easier to tear it off. If you have scissors, you can skip this step. Just cut along that side of the triangle. Open your triangle to reveal your square sheet of paper. Now we're gonna take the top side and fold it down so that it matches the bottom. This will fold the square in half. Remember not to crease until your sides are perfectly matched up. Once you've done that, Open your square and turn it 90 degrees. We're going to do the same thing again. Now your paper is folded like a book. You have an open side and a closed side. Make sure that the open side is pointed away from you and that the spine of the paper is pointed towards you. Now we're going to take the bottom right corner and fold it so that it matches the middle crease. This will make a tiny triangle. Now we're going to flip our paper over and do the exact same thing again. After you have completed that step, pick up your paper gently. Now we're going to slightly open the middle section and push the two corners together that you have in your hands. The finished result should be a square that has one open side like a mouth where the four points converge. Make sure the mouth is pointed away from you and that the closed side is pointed towards you. Now pick up just one of the corner flaps and fold the corner towards the middle line. The space above that flap should be an isosceles triangle. That means the middle line above it and the outside should be equal in length. It's okay if your isosceles triangle isn't perfect. This will just change the overall shape of your seed starter. Now you're gonna take the flap on the opposite side and match it up with the corner of your first side. Gently flip the entire thing over. Now repeat the same process on the back side making sure that your mouth is pointing away from you and that the close point is pointing towards you.
Now pick up just one flap from the mouth and fold down on the dotted line shown to you. It should be from corner to corner. Gently flip the paper over and repeat this process. Now gently slide your fingers in between the sides of your paper. We're going to fold the sides closest to us together. While holding that, we're also going to fold the other side together. This shape to me looks a bit like a crystal. Please feel free to rewind or pause the video if you need help with this step. Now fold one flap from the mouthpiece down again, just like you did before. Flip the paper over and repeat this process. Now we are going to fold from corner to corner on the clothes side. Fold it up, make sure it's straight, and make a nice crease. Then unfold, flip over the paper, and do the same thing. This is just to create a line for later. Congratulations, you've completed all of the folding steps for making an origami sea starter. All that's left to do now is to open up your planter. Carefully open it up and use that line you just folded to push in the bottom. If you need to make your seed starter a bit more stable, just pinch the sides in the opposite direction. This will help keep it in place. Now you would put your seed in here and follow directions on the seed packet. I'm going to put my basil inside of my seed starter and then I'm going to give it a nice little bit of water. Be careful during the watering process because um, I did have one seed starter fall apart. And if you're worried about yours, I would use a little bit of tape first before watering your plant and there's your seed starter.